Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Facebook Ads Friday week 23. If this is your first week tuning in, every single week I show you two proven, tried and tested dropshipping products. How do I know they're proven then? If we jump straight into the first one and take a look at this particular Facebook ad here, we can see it has nearly 5,000 reactions, 1,300 comments and 1,400 shares. Now, whilst engagement is of course important, it shows traction, it shows interest, nobody continues to run a Facebook ad unless they're seeing some sort of return. Where the gold or where the important stuff lies in my opinion is in the comment section so if we have a look here we can see amanda got one for her baby carol has one of these for her rescue kathleen says it works great for her cat debbie says she's got these for her babies elaine says her cats love these bowls and says her cat puked all the time but this bowl really works tina says one of her cats uses this daily bridget says it works for her 16 and a half old cat parry says his is on the way joanna says it works brilliant for her Siberian Jesse says it works great so on and so forth we can see that the comment section of this particular Facebook ad is just littered with people who have bought this product so nobody watching this video can argue that people are buying this and therefore in my opinion this is as close as you can get to a proven dropshipping product where the real value though lies in this particular product research method is that once you've found the proven product via a Facebook ad, you then get access to all of the other components of a successful business. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. So yes, you'll get to see exactly what this proven product is, but you'll also get to see exactly what a proven Shopify store looks like selling this product and you get to see what the proven Facebook ad creative looks like as well. And with that being said, let's take a look at exactly what that is. So as we can see, it's quite a popular kind of ad strategy where it has a reply to so-and-so's comment. So how do I get my cat to stop vomiting after meals? Straight away, there's the pain point. There is the consumer that they're targeting. This is the before and after. It's highlighting the issue with the typical bowls and then highlighting the solution as this new bowl. It just had the bullet points pointing out the benefits. Each and every time it's showing what is wrong with the traditional way of feeding your cat and each and every time it's presenting this bowl as the solution. As we come into the final few seconds of the ad, we have social proof, testimonial after testimonial after testimonial, plus a call to action at the end. Shop now and get 40% off your per bowl today. If we jump onto the Shopify store, this is one of my favorite stores I've ever come across. Um, so anybody who's part of my PLM program, there's a library in there of proven six and seven figure stores. And it's basically templates like this. And when I come across it, the first thing I did was screenshot this. I've got an app which will take a whole entire screenshot of the product page and uploaded it to the content because in my opinion this is just an absolutely fantastic product page it's almost like a funnel it's almost like a click funnels landing page it's not your traditional product page there's no price on the screen at the moment um, it's purely just kind of reiterating those points we saw in the video ad it's showing the benefits and reasons why somebody would buy this product there's tons of social proof trusted by 45,000 happy cats one of the boldest things on the screen there is say goodbye to fomentin so that's obviously the biggest kind of pain point and benefits of the product and the marketing angle that they're using. And then the next second biggest thing you kind of see is this Get Mine Now, which then takes you down into that traditional kind of product page format. What I really like here is they have the single bowl option for $30. However, as with any kind of household domestic pet, you kind of have a water bowl and a food bowl. So more often than not, I would imagine most people would go for this two sets. So it's a very easy upsell there for an extra $10. And what I also really like about this page is this section here, if I can highlight this, how they've got a really nice, easy on the eye font, and they've got all the kind of key and important things about the product in bold, and they have it listed in a super kind of visually pleasing way. There's so much information in this kind of top half of the page, however, because of the way they've laid it out and they've separated it up with different colors and bullet points and sections it makes it super easy to digest all of that information something else which you may have heard me talk about in previous videos is giving somebody a reason to buy the products from you and not somebody else in case they've come across these products before so the first thing with this store is it's just they've out designed they've outdone everybody else selling this product in my opinion unless there's a better store that you know of um, out there selling this and they also have this order today for a free bonus so any potential consumers that are um and are in and kind of weighing up the pros and cons of shopping with one of two different stores um, if you get a free bonus with 
with this store, that's probably going to tip you over the edge into picking these guys, even if it's maybe five or ten dollars more expensive. They have a really cool scrolling section here. Um, I haven't gone to the extent, to be honest, to actually check if they are featured in all of these places. Most consumers probably won't check that either. So as long as it's ethical, then it's a really good way of kind of piggybacking off the reputation and trustworthiness um, that these brands have. This section here is really nice. There's a clear kind of red section versus green section kind of before and after. The majority of people that they come across are probably not going to know they have an issue or there is an issue with the way they're feeding their cat and sections like this do a really good job of kind of highlighting what that issue is and then presenting the solution they even call it the solution themselves to get this kind of vet recommended i don't know to be honest what kind of terms or what kind of criteria you have to match if there's a single vet in the world that can recommend a product can you then put that on the store maybe you can but what it does do is it gives across that impression to any particular cat owner that vets who know more about cats than anybody are happy to endorse this product so is your cat older than seven if so you know that aging cats often struggle with arthritis blah, blah blah order now again basically it's just setting this product up as the solution more social proof with a nice kind of bold blue background to make these testimonials stand out five reasons why veterinarians recommend the per bowl so they actually have a picture of a vet here what looks like a vet holding a cat and then they have a really nice kind of section here which you can click on and drops down lots of different information again just really does a really good job of highlighting the benefits of this product more testimonials it's going viral on social media they've screenshotted again real comments um, from Facebook from people who have bought this product so this is something I recommend everybody do on their Shopify store as long as you can display it in a neat and professional manner that's pleasing to the eye You've seen me talk about sections like this before as well. So how does the per bowl compare? So they have regular cat poles. Again, just pointing out all the flaws, highlighting all the flaws to a regular cat bowl that probably 90% of cat owners are probably using. Last couple of sections and they have a 30 day guarantee. It's not just one sentence. It's a proper full on section. It's almost like a click funnels landing page, which I've mentioned before. And then last but certainly not least, they have an FAQ at the bottom. And if you notice with pretty much every section, you have this get mine now, which scrolls them back up to the top to the ads cat button which is where they can make a purchase they have a super awesome draw cart this is called rebuy or at least the one i use is called rebuy this may be something similar but as you can see look how easy it is to encourage or for a consumer to spend extra money not only is there upsells for different quantities of the bowl not only is there um, encouragement at the top to how much extra to spend to get free shipping. They also have this upgrade, your feeding station at the bottom. So all in all, everything in the store has just been super optimized and that's reflected in the success that they're having. That being said though, let's talk numbers. How much money are they making? So they have a single bowl for $30. They have a double bowl for 40. This is one of the very first Shopify stores they came across. In fact, this isn't a great example. I probably should have checked this, only one review. Let's have a look for a better example so we can get a more realistic price. Okay, so this is a better example. My home time store, 95% positive in business since 2018, which is good to see. You can get then, let's have a look what the options. I want to make sure we get a like for like. So there's a single bowl for 1p. That's with free shipping as well. And um, with that guaranteed 15 day on time delivery. And then if you want to buy a double one, then the price is £1.61 that is delivered. It is currently on offer for £9.15. So even worst case scenario, you're paying a tenant to get this delivered. They're selling it for $40. You're still looking at a very healthy profit margin on the front end of anywhere between sort of 20 and $30. So as you can see, all in all, a very good product that is very high in demand that actually has has a very real life application to it. There's no denying that these people are very happy with their purchase. So a great business that we can learn a lot from. Moving on to business number two, we have no land interior. This is a Facebook ad started on October 25th of 2022. So it's only been running for five months or so in that time they've managed to acquire 11,000 reactions nearly 4,000 comments and nearly 3,000 shares or 3.7k 2.7k. Um, let's just check out the comments again. So um, so far what are we looking at so customer service is fantastic we'll be buying more in the coming week i ordered these for my sectional fit great love these covers just got mine love them i have to say so far i love mine i ordered these they're pretty awesome i love them i ordered some for my couch i love them i ordered the seat covers they are wonderful got mine this week on the sofa amazing quality ordered these for my mum for christmas i got four of mine customer service was outstanding so just goes on and on and on again nobody can argue that people love this product and people are buying this product now you may be sat there thinking well i've seen this product before it's nothing special true 
What is special though is this Facebook ad creative. So I'm just gonna play it through and point out why I like it so much. So they do a really good job of showing, again, the pain points of previous sofa covers um, or actual sofas where the um, cotton tears out. So you need the magic sofa cover, it shows how stretchy it is, shows how easy it is to install. And look how quick that section was snapping between different um, scenes and kind of the before and after of putting the products on. It's a really kind of visually pleasing, attention grabbing way of advertising a product. So I'm obsessed. Again, it just kind of puts those words almost in the viewers' minds um, themselves. And at the start, if you missed it there, so if you have pets, kids, or you're tired of the wear and tear, so again, immediately it's speaking to its target market. At the beginning of your ads, if you can say, hey, are you a mother, are you a grandparent, or do you have pets, that sort of thing, anybody Anybody who is one of those things immediately is much more likely to listen and watch your ad. This is a Shopify store selling this products then, um, a very kind of basic and traditional Shopify store. Their Facebook ad obviously does a really good job of qualifying the people who come here. Um, they have a significant amount of reviews. Let's check these out. So this looks like looks or a reviews. What they do a really good job of is these all look like legit reviews. They don't look like short, broken up English, weird reviews imported from AliExpress. They've obviously gone to the extent to proofread these if they have imported them or given the level of success they have, I would say the majority of these are probably actually legit. So super slick, super nice website. Um, everything is uniform. Look how it's the same image, but with a different cover. Everything is super, super professional. Same thing for the variants. It snaps between the different colors as well. So it's super crystal clear what it is you're, you're actually buying. They have a size chart which pops up nicely and makes it again crystal clear the size you need depending on the shape and size of your sofa. One thing that I personally would do to improve this is have a dynamic checkout button so people can see they can pay on PayPal um, or Apple Pay, Google Pay, that sort of thing. And something else as well is most people tend to have have two sofas so they could have like a bundle offer and they could also have something like Klarna to allow people to split the payments up. That may just encourage somebody to buy say two, three, four of these things um, and end up spending or bumping up that average order value. First things first then, quick and easy installation. That's probably like the number one question somebody has about this is how easy it is to install or use these things. So that's the first point that they address in their product description. They then go on to talk about the other features of the product, super soft and stretchy, always stays in place and 360 degree full coverage as well. Let's talk now numbers and how much of a profitable product is this? It's going to be a difficult one to gauge because most people aren't going to buy one of these things. Probably no one out there is going to be buying one of these things because they have three or four different cushions and back cushions and actual these type of cushions um, to actually cover. So I'm going to show you one example, but then just take into account that most people are probably going to be buying multiples. So if we have a look at the seat cover for $19, we'll go to a size chart and we'll go for a seat cover here, which is 65 to 85 centimeters. If we head onto AliExpress, we have a 65 to 95 centimeter example here for about $10. So they're only making roughly about $10 if somebody was to buy that one seat cushion. But what you have to keep in mind, number one is this is actually slightly larger than the size they're selling. And number two, the average sofa out there probably has a requirement for three of these things. So all of a sudden you're making $30 per sale. Or if they then get six, because they need three for the back, you're making $60 per sale. So as you can see, whilst the profit margins don't look too great initially, where the true value lies in a product like this is that somebody coming on here will see all $10, that's nice and cheap. But by the time they've kitted out and covered their whole entire sofa, probably spent closer to $100, which is why I recommend having one of those split payment options installed. And so with that being said then guys, that wraps up week 23 of Facebook Ads Friday. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you take away some value from this. I hope it inspires you to go out there and replicate the success you've seen in this video. Any comments, questions, video suggestions, whatever it may be, just post them down below. Don't forget to subscribe as well so you can tune in next week for week 24. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next one.